So a funny thing happened. Uh, I, <laughs> there's like, I guess the video sometimes whenever I'm recording my my audio, like when I'm talking, just cuts out randomly. It's, this happens like one out of every maybe hundred videos that I do, but it happened on this one. And I want to go ahead and tell you that I'm going to kind of show you the highlights of this next mission. Kind of like I normally would. There won't be any commentary. Like, randomly towards the end, as I'm getting away to the helicopter, my voice just turns back on. So I have no idea how to adjust that. And it's too late for post-commentary. So um, I'll show you the highlights. And then I've actually just beat the game. So I'm going to show you the ending. All that's today. I don't know if it's going to be one big video or two. But regardless, thank you guys so much for all your support on this series. And that being said... Let's do this. Boss, make contact with the old man known as Code Talker. According to the Intel team member you extracted, he knows what the epidemic is and how to treat it. You'll find him in a mansion deep in the valley beyond the forest. He's a high-value target who's probably involved with Cypher's research. This information came at a heavy price. And you convince security on site is gonna be tight. Watch yourself out there, all right? Make contact with the target, Code Talker. And if the treatment requires it, extract him to Mother Base. Missed. Have a bad feeling about this. Has arrived you can't mark them. There's no way to tell where our strikes are next. Stay on your guard.
a serious injury. It won't heal on its own. You'll need to treat it with first aid. Been waiting, Tilith. Or should I say, Bedahochale? That's him. That's Code Talker. Look familiar? It's infecting my men. How do we silence or death? What he could be in here. Stay quiet. Your life depends on it. Sit. The parasite has infected your band. Those are its lava. 
They enter the throat and attach themselves to the vocal cords. They mimic the host's membranes flawlessly. No one can tell the difference. Upon reaching maturity, they mate. Sustained exposure to a particular sound triggers copulation. The resulting larva then feast on the host lungs, killing it. The particular sound. They attack only those who speak a certain language, not just one. I cannot say which language your parasites are attuned to, but silence is the best way to keep them from laying their children. This contains an herb that they dislike. That should deafen them for a while. You have bought yourself some time. Speak. Is there a cure? Once symptoms manifest, lava have already infested the alveoli. At which point, nothing can be done. There is a way to halt the onset which would prevent infection. I need your help. He stole the ones I sealed away, forced me to do his terrible work. Skullface. Even a country like America sways in his wake. I could not defy him. The fate of Dene lies in his hands. However, perhaps the Nishia led you here. If my children have upset the Hojun of the world, it falls to me to set it right. You secured the target, but he's too old to risk a Fulton extraction. Put Code Talker in the chopper and return to base. He claims they are the dream of every ruler since the dawn of time. Teach them your enemies' words, then unleash them on his lands, destroying those who speak his tongue, he calls them his ethnic cleansers. Ethnic cleansers? That's what Skullface is after. Then, in Zoya, Badiabulo was... Boss, he's gonna wipe every language besides English off the face of the Earth. Ironic, isn't it? They gave us language. Thanks to them, that man first learned to speak. But now, the hands of the clock turn back. They've been warped by the hands of man. Extraction arrived at the motorbase. Vision info enemy equipment detected. <laughs> 
I'm going to stay along the corner right here and hope for the best. We're essentially just trying to get to the chopper. This mission... I knew something like this would happen eventually. This mission was just so good. Like, how can it... It, it just... I, it was just... Oh, fuck. Holy shit, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm so dead. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. I'm gonna get spotted. It's already about to happen. Look how bright that is. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Actually, holy shit, I actually made it. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, thank goodness we made it. Enemy detected. Has been How did I get through that without getting seen? All I did was run around. That was an epic mission, guys, I must say. into females preventing reproduction one parasite infecting another however it doesn't affect only the parasite it alters the host as well the infection will be contained but you and your men will also be rendered infertile that is the price you must pay to regain your speech. That freak show back there. They the work of your children too? A different strain from the vocal cord parasite. Known as the one that covers. It acts as the host's skin providing strength in exchange for nourishment. But I did not know those men were infected. 
They were forced to serve him. Then steal my research. Have you seen one of their vehicles? Big yellow cake. They captured a convoy they were escorting. Cargo some kind of mineral. What became of it? The metallic Archaea. Clouds ahead! It's them. So that last video kind of ended weirdly. Uh, it said to be continued. And then it took me back to the helicopter like it never happened. And then here's the only other mission we can do, so... I'm gonna see what this one is. I wanna say welcome back, thank you so much for all your support. And here we go. It's like, buddy... Okay, so I, I, I can use Quiet again. I'm gonna use her for this one, I guess. Yeah, I thought she died for a minute, I kinda got nervous. Alright, here we go. They are coming.
are their quarry. Holy shit! What is going on, man? I'm so dead. Like what? Strike point. Strike requested. All right. So what I've been doing, I found a hiding spot. Well, we're starting. It's not really a hiding spot. I don't know if this thing actually works or not. I put quiet kind of close. There's only a few of these icons on the map. Apparently you can bombard, airstrike, everything in the middle. I don't know. I don't think it's going to kill him. Yeah, see, look at that. There's only one person, like, right there, and there's one next to him. The puppet soldier. Let's see what happens. Let's do fire support. Let's just keep Please doing it. Select a strike point. Strike requested. I'm not sure if this actually works, that'll be amazing, because that is it was I've been running around for like 30 minutes trying to figure this out. So guys, this might seem ridiculous, but I found the best strategy for this mission. Get a, get away from the I guess the four or five main Skull Gang people and just get quiet to get on top of this rooftop next to me. And just keep having her shoot. She's, she's already killed two of them. I literally did no damage with my assault rifle. I did no damage with my grenade launcher. She's just going to be picking away, so I'm going to be here a minute. This is, I mean, it, this seems to be working, so I'm going to keep it rolling. Keep you guys updated after this is all over. If this, if this works, sometimes you'll notice their like, health bar comes back. They have a lot of health. A whole lot. Oh, we did it. Alright, so that was honestly... It was crazy that that actually worked, but... I'll be damned, it did. Oh my goodness. I tried the horse running around, grenade launchers, I tried everything. I'm not sure what all I'm going to show you guys, but... Essentially using her, putting her up on top of that roof right there... Finding a good hiding spot, going prone, and just having her keep attacking them. And you, I mean, it's just four main guys, and then you, you should be good. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe that actually worked. At least we'll get this guy out of here. Safe and sound. This is Bequad. Arriving shortly at LZ. I never thought I'd be happy to hear those words. Pretty amazing, like the things you can do in different areas. Like there were so many ways to beat those. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Skullfis is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium 
weaponize it. Loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes. Anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikangu strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikangu. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. We must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Again with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sahelanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. 
Sahelanthropus is the final piece. What are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skull Face is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield. A ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and Zeroes. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sahelanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. KB Zero! The Sahelanthropus is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB Zero. That's where he'll activate Sahelanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. 